key to this question, I think, is the starting number. So if you put in five as your starting number, then there'd be lots of options here and here. One, two, or three. When I say lots, I just mean more than two options. Whereas if you put in three as your starting number, actually, we can't put two or four next to it. We can only put one or five. So let's just put them here. It's not going to matter. You know, we're not trying to work out the total number of grids. You can, you can rotate the numbers around. You can reflect it. But basically, three is going to have to be next to one and five. Um, and then we, that only leaves us with two and four, which basically means this has to be two and this has to be four. So what is the sum of the numbers of the two circles adjacent to five? Five is going to have to be next to the two and the three. It, it can't be next to the one because the one has to be next to the three and four. So the answer is going to be five.